Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 23 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Natal, Brazil, Jussier Formiga! And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. And on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't going to submit me. I'm going to try to take him down. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. And you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego. But it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical ability. And this guy has done this tremendously. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. 
the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Outstanding kick there by Formiga. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. Doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Nice punch lands over the top. Straight right, he misses. He blocks the punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Shin guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he goes. Unable to connect with the right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow us? Formiga's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Still nice body kick land. Huge block! Look at him working at trying to shut the limit out. Formiga gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. That's a big strike right there. Strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Big kick land. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. What a tricky head kick. Oh, big punch land. Straight to the body by Lee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Body. Oh, spinning back Go fist. Ahead. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low. But when he goes up top, he's very powerful. And he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Oh, slips to a 
avoid the right. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Nice punch, man. Real quick leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. And they separate. Oh, nice knee to the head forward there. Big head kick lands. Back to the jab now, no good. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Just a slip there. And he landed the right hand there. Switching stances here. To the left hand now, unable to connect. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him. Game of inches right I'm there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Dig deep, dig deep. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Good punch. Massive head kick. Both guys landing with conviction now. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Counters with that inside leg kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. His leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. You can't take many of those. You better check. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Let your hands go. Let your hands go. Oh, perfect head kick there. Knee to the body. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. All right, round three coming up next. All right, well, that's the end of the round, and we will go right into the corner of the fighter with that brutal cut on his nose. Really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to, at the very least, call the doctor in. And if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. 
huge block there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Formiga. And there comes the separation now. Oh, big head kick there. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Just misses with the jab. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, <laughs> stop it. Big kick land. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. Big head kick. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Plus right hand is true. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Formiga's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Lands the right hand. Good combination there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Formiga's got the tie clinch now. He lands the overhand right. Kick checked effectively there by Zormiga. Nice leg kick land. Right hand on point. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent there. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab, is something you can't really spare for. Caught the kick. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Shot to the body, turned back by Formiga. Nice punch by Lee. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Jab now again, the fighter of eights. Formiga gets hit with a kick. Yeah. 
All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Big roundhouse now, just misses. And he lands the knee to the body now. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Big kick. Nice one, two there. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Nice head kick. Connects with a right. Nice punch there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Beautiful strike. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Back and forth we go. Nice. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Big knee to the body. Oh, what a punch. Liver kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Right of the elbow, body to the land. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, he continues to work the body to great effect. Another kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Trying to establish that jab once again. That shot blocked finally. Leg kick. Ooh, big shot, man. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big kick lands. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Nice. Oh, and now.
now he lands the I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He did coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw it. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. So a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him. There he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. It's getting him to slow down and fight at your pitch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Punch is blocked. Nice straight punch. Nice body. Visibly limping here. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, oh, the the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. He missed with that jab attempt there. Formiga's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Such a fast leg kick. Well placed kick there by an ever improving juicy A for me. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye, because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. Big body kick land. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, knee strike right to the body. You can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Formiga. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus chest ready. This fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad for his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Well, he's gotta be on top of the world, dominating this fight, the stamina still on point. He didn't skip pro versa clobber days, that's for sure. No, this has to feel good. Yo! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. from the top here, pretty good ground and pound here by Lou. All right, feet on the hips here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab the head or he's going to get blasted. Right punches there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lee's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Changes his stance. 
nice job to go with the lead left hand there, DC. Got to mix it up sometimes. You cannot fight in a pattern. Cannot always be jabbed first. Sometimes you got to throw that left hand. You got to check these low leg kicks. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Beautiful body kick. Nice loop at once. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Formiga. 15 seconds. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Oh! Body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. you got to feel good.